Hello and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Today's episode, Hannah Hart. Ready, set, go. Brooklyn, New York, 2011. 25-year-old Hannah Hart spends her days working as a proofreader at a translation firm, mining through document after document, searching for even the smallest of errors. And at this time, Hannah was still pretty new to New York. So after work one day, she hopped on the video chat with one of her hometown friends, who coincidentally was also named Hannah. So to avoid confusion, let's flip that name around and call her... Hannah. So during this video chat, Hannah and Hannah began reminiscing about the time they spent together back home in San Francisco, particularly times when Hannah would get drunk and start cooking. And in response to this, Hannah decided to pull up photo booth and film a drunk cooking video to send to her friends. So she grabbed her laptop and a bottle of wine and proceeded to film herself getting drunk, saying hello over and over again, and attempting to cook a grilled cheese sandwich. That is until about halfway through when she realized she didn't have any cheese. I never said she was prepared. Anyway, once this video was filmed and edited together, Hannah uploaded it to her YouTube channel, My Harto, to send to her friend. But what came next was completely unexpected. This video, which was simply known as My Drunk Kitchen, actually started gaining a surprising amount of traction. Hannah's charming personality and drunken antics struck a chord with the YouTube community, with her Drunk Kitchen video having gained over 500,000 views by June of 2011 and over a million by December of the same year. And the comments were pouring in with people begging Hannah to make more. And hey, she had a ton of fun with the first one, so she saw no reason not to continue. And thus, My Drunk Kitchen became My Drunk Kitchen Episode 1, as Hannah began creating and uploading more and more episodes of the show, with many of them performing just as well, if not better, than Episode 1. The unexpected explosion of My Drunk Kitchen suddenly found Hannah holding all this potential in her hands, and she got to decide what she wanted to do with it. So while My Drunk Kitchen was definitely the focus of My Harto moving forward, Hannah was very adamant about taking this pretty much once in a lifetime opportunity she was given to try and build a strong community. And thus, it didn't take long for Hannah to begin dipping her toes into the waters of things like Q&A advice videos and vlogs. However, the interesting thing was, at this point in her burgeoning career, Hannah was still kind of an outsider on YouTube, mostly unaware of the massive communities that have been growing on the site since the beginning. That was until the summer of 2011 when Hannah was invited to this little thing called VidCon. Yep. In one fell swoop, Hannah was taken from her kitchen and suddenly plonked right into the epicenter of all things online video, surrounded by all these people that she had never heard of in her life. At this time, all she knew was that she loved what she was seeing. And following VidCon 2011, Hannah decided it was time to try and take this YouTube thing to the next level. She moved out to Los Angeles in February of 2012 and began meeting and collaborating with all sorts of prominent YouTubers, such as Shane Dawson, Jenna Marbles, and Grace Helbig, among others. But while her YouTube channel was doing well, Hannah herself was kind of struggling. She wasn't necessarily enjoying her life in LA, the opportunities she had been hoping for weren't exactly working out, and she was beginning to consider packing her things, moving back to New York, and maybe getting a job in social media. But the idea of simply abandoning the community she had spent the last two years growing on YouTube was just something she could not get behind. So she went in the complete opposite direction, and come January of 2013, Hannah and her friend Pearl Weibel teamed up to crowdfund a national tour, which they named Hello Harto. Originally, Hello Harto would see Hannah and a few of her friends friends touring to around 10 places across the country and filming episodes of My Drunk Kitchen in the homes of fans, all the while vlogging their on-the-road experience. And Hannah was asking for $50,000 to make it all happen. However, the Hello Harto Indiegogo ended up raising over four times this amount, clocking in at more than $220,000. And so, the tour was expanded from 10 to 22 stops across the US and now Canada, the on-the-road vlogs were transformed into a full-on mockumentary series, and on top of all this, rather than having typical fan meetups, each stop on the Hello Harto tour would feature a volunteer charity event. The Hello Harto tour was a massive success, eventually extending to places like New Zealand and Australia. And all of this only scratches the surface of the sheer number of things Hannah accomplished in 2013. On top of Hello Harto, on February 2nd, 2013, Hannah teamed up with her friends and fellow YouTubers Grace Helbig and the totally unrelated Mamrie Hearts to put on a 75-minute comedy show known as the No Filter Show. And after gaining popularity online, the trio decided to take this show on the road alongside certain Hello Harto dates. But even then we aren't done. For come August of 2013, the Trinity took to the main stage of VidCon to announce that they were working on their first ever feature-length film known as Camp Dakota, which was then released online on February 14th, 2014. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to go too much deeper into this, but let's just say Camp Dakota definitely wasn't Hannah's last foray into more traditional high-budget productions. So by the start of 2014, Hannah was riding high, having finally hit her stride 
in the last year. But throughout all of this, and even going back to before she started YouTube, there was one thing that Hannah had always wanted to do and had never really been given the opportunity to do. Hannah wanted to write a book. And jumping back a bit to Hannah's move to LA in 2012, one of the things she had been pitching over and over that year had been a parody cookbook based off My Drunk Kitchen. But for one reason or another, no one wanted it. That was until January 30th, 2014, when Hannah announced that she was teaming up with Day Street Books to publish... My Drunk Kitchen, a guide to eating, drinking, and going with your gut. Released in August of 2014, My Drunk Kitchen was both a parody cookbook, with each recipe serving as its own little mini episode of My Drunk Kitchen, as well as a self-help book, complete with a foreword written by one of those strangers she met at her first VidCon, John Green. And unsurprisingly, the My Drunk Kitchen book was incredibly well received, earning critical acclaim and climbing the New York Times bestseller list in various categories. After years and years of working and pitching concepts, Hannah had finally achieved her dream of becoming an author. But Hannah was not about to stop there, as she was already itching to write her next book. And as safe as it would have been for Hannah to just write a My Drunk Kitchen 2, she once again decided to go in a completely different direction. And thus, on August 8th, 2016, Hannah released her second book, Buffering, Unshared Tales of a Life Fully Loaded. You see, where Hannah's first book was essentially an amalgamation of everything My heart -o and My Drunk Kitchen, Buffering aimed instead to represent everything that is Hannah Hart. It was a far more more personal project, a full-fledged memoir of Hannah's life diving far deeper than any one YouTube video ever could. You know, it's basically like this video, but longer, more detailed, more personal, and just like better in general. I made that exact same joke talking about binge in my Tyler Oakley episode, and I'm not even sorry. And much like its predecessor, Buffering was very well received, becoming Hannah's second New York Times bestseller. So by this point, six years into her career, Hannah has created a hugely popular web series, toured around the US and several other countries, collaborated with a nearly endless number of YouTubers and celebrities, taken part in several bigger budget productions, and written two New York Times bestselling books. And is she slowing down for even a second in 2017? No. For later this year, Hannah has a six-episode travel and food series coming to Food Network, and in February, it was announced that she's actually struck up a deal with the film studio Lionsgate to produce an original LGBT-themed romantic comedy. And to think, pretty much everything I just mentioned spawned from a homesick Hannah Hart making a silly drunk cooking video on a whim back in 2011. Back then, Hannah knew absolutely nothing about the world of YouTube, but quickly fell in love with it and wanted nothing more than to build a strong community like those who came before her. Someone in her position could have easily just gone for quick cash outs and soaked in the fame. But instead, Hannah chose to use her newfound popularity to form connections with people, help others, organize charity work, and put her all into everything she's made. And whether she's making YouTube videos, writing books, or producing feature films, Hannah's passion for helping others has always shown through. A passion that has no doubt inspired thousands of people over the last six years, and if the upcoming year is any indication, will only continue to reach farther and farther farther. Thanks for watching guys, DFTBA. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my Hannah Hart brief history, I hope you liked it, and real quick before the video ends, I want to give a massive shout out to Hannah Hart herself. She was kind enough to help out with the research for this video, which was an incredible honor. I highly recommend checking out her channel, which you can do by clicking or tapping right here. Or if you'd like to watch some more of my videos, you can check out my last episode all about The Odd Ones Out. And I think that's about it, so I'll say it again, thanks for watching, and DFTBA.